Let's play the tournament round of the Miami Tournament in Tennis Go, a sports game published by Master Wireless. So I have ended the qualifier round at the fourth rank. Let's enter the tournament round. Okay, so I'm going to uh, play with Kesia during this uh, tournament round. My uh, Noel character is only at level 4, so it's not enough. I'm going to play with Kesia that I have at level 5. And that should be a bit better, even if Kesia doesn't have a big forehand. But she has better mobility and stamina. You can see here the lineup with Kesia. Okay, let's go. Here are the stats. One said uh, cards are capped at level 5. Here we go for the first match. This is an opponent who doesn't have uh, higher stats, only the mobility, which is better. Here we go. All right. Obviously, that's a bit easier if you have higher stats. So I'm playing with the Cobra Grip for all matches of this uh, tournament round. I was playing the qualifier round with the Ordinary Grip, which is the equivalent of uh, the uh, Nylon String in Tennis Clash. So the uh, Cobra Grip, the string that I'm using, has a Stamina Shield and the uh, Flying Strike, so uh, this is an ability that allows you to increase your chance to uh, volley. One, three. Well, that's a uh, copy based of the uh, long catch Two, three. in Tennis Clash. So this uh, Cobra Grip looks uh, very similar to the Choker Cords in Tennis Clash. Well played here. Three, four. Ball. So the Tiger Grip, the string used by my opponent, has the Flying Strike and so, but at tier 2. And it has the ability Three, five. to hit strong shots, which is the equivalent of the critical in Tennis Clash. So, Four, critical five. and long catch. So, that uh, Tiger Grip String looks very similar to the Swallow Pulley in Tennis Clash, which also has a critical and long catch. Well played, well played. Okay, doesn't look good. Yep. This long catch feature is uh, it's pretty helpful. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have crossed this further. No, 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 no. Shouldn't have. No. Shouldn't have hit there. Was too easy to anticipate for my opponent. Well, that was well played. And we have just seen a glitch. 
with that case, yeah. Crossing literally the net. Oh, right, first match, first defeat. Never mind, let's try and do better. Yeah, I wanted to uh, change something in the lineup, but um, finally didn't do it. Well, well, let's face a high serve. And not really big forehand. Just a high serve player. Using the Sakura grip. So this is a, a string having the uh, forehand counter. The long catch. And the critical. So it is basically the Sibiran wire. Of tennis clash. Same thing. Yep, they have copied everything. Really. It's too easy, right? When you can just take your own ideas of a popular tennis game and do the same thing. But with a gray fix, which are not. Uh, Triple A quality, and that's the least we can say. For the first time, I was seeing those uh, cartoonish graphics. So I was saying to myself, What the heck? That's uh, not very beautiful. And well, after a while, we get used to it. So to those uh, artworks, which are not very beautiful, and those graphics make this tennis go game not very realistic actually. And uh, the realism is uh, one of the the best things of tennis clash. The game that Tennis Go has copied everything. Match point. Out. Match point. Ball. Second serve. Yep. Well, that's a bit better. For the second match, I'm going to show the attribute contrast at the end of matches. Even if you have seen this screen before all matches. All right. Well, this is an opponent who is using the ordinary grip versus whom my Cobra grip should be an advantage. But even if uh, I was using the ordinary grip with my case here for this match, that wouldn't change anything, I guess. Because uh, the stats of my opponent are significantly lower. Three, one. And that doesn't help, of course, Four, to return itself with accuracy. Yeah. Out. Looks like uh, my opponent doesn't have the uh, best cards possible to play even at uh, amateur level. All right. Well, that was not very tricky. There will be more difficult matches ahead, I guess. 
Let's go. All right. Higher serve, higher stamina, but lower forehand and backhand, and especially a forehand which is not strong at all. So I'm going to try and insist on that weak side, even if, of course, I won't refrain myself from hitting on the backhand. If my opponent is far from that side. Okay. Yep, that's a big serve. That allows my opponent to hit a good winner after the serve. Yeah. And he has a good backhand. Oh, that's surprising that uh, Four, he doesn't cover his uh, forehand side. Oh, right. Having two almost equally strong hands allows my case yeah, to be uh, pretty versatile. Five, three. And he, she doesn't... Uh, need to worry much about covering a weak hand because the both of her hands are Five, four. decent Ball. for use at amateur level. All right, that's the end. Let's go for the next match. See the attribute contrast again. Yeah, higher volley is not useful. Terminator, huh? Yeah. Balls. Using the fighter grip. Well, he doesn't move much. Love. Oh my gosh. Love. He's pretty static. He doesn't try to anticipate. My gosh. Three, love. Why why doesn't he move? Second serve. Wow. Four, love. He seems so static. Doesn't move. That's second serve. Okay. Really? Is this attacking? This is trying to volley. Oh my gosh, but you don't have a volley build. Wow. Looks like some players are mm, not very ready yet to play the tournament. Oh, right. Five matches play. Let's play the sixth one. Versus a high serve, big forehand player. Well, well, well. He's not very agile. 
But the big serve can be enough. Especially if uh, he can make use of the flying strike, which is the long catch. Yeah, big serve indeed. And a nice backhand to follow up. Well done. Yeah. The only problem is that uh, he is not agile. So it's not very tricky to outflank this opponent using down the line shots. Wow. Can't believe I can ace that easily. And that backhand was not accurate. Yeah, that's it. That's the price to pay for the lack of agility. Uh, looks like this high serve, big forehand style it can work only if uh, you have a, a bigger forehand than that. This one was not high enough, I guess. All oh, right, this opponent doesn't have a very good backhand stat, so let's try and insist on. Wow, this is a Halloween outfit. Yep, sorry, a neck jacket. At the backhand side. Wow. Okay. The cross court shot work it. Yeah, so the game mechanics uh, are the same. Then it's in a slash. So. As I said during the first impressions video of Tennis Go, the learning curve is not steep at all for Tennis Go. If you uh, know well enough the strategy and the gameplay, meaning the swipe And how to hit accurately, how to counter this or that build using a specific build. Well, you don't need to learn a lot of things. You don't need to change much to uh, play in Tennis Go because it's the same thing. They have a copy everything. Yep. Was not too tricky. So they have copied the uh, accuracy cycles to presentation of the ranking is the same pre-match screen comparison of stats it's the same thing. Just the font size, which is a bit larger in Tennis Go. Which is uh, it's just a cosmetic change. It's... Uh, Cosmetic change for the score too. Score display. They display it uh, on a horizontal line instead of One. vertically like in Tennis Clash. Unfortunately, because if they did exactly the same way, that would be uh, really nasty. 
Well, Four, one. this is not too bad. Ow. Oh my, I like Four, mobility here. Okay, Five. came back in time to hit the, that shot that is out of reach from my opponent. Oh, cool. Yeah. Match point. Really, it works exactly the same way in Nintendo Clash. That's unbelievable. The way I hit the Costco drop shot. I mean, it's exactly the same thing. I, I don't need to change anything. And I can hardly imagine to hit a cross court drop shot that way in another tennis game like in uh, AO tennis you know the Australian Open tennis game or in uh, other tennis games I mean the other tennis games existed before tennis clash of course and and Tennis Class didn't copy any of them. The publisher of Tennis Class uh, made a very personal game. That uh, bet on the simplicity of use. On realistic graphics. A pretty good order. Good things, good ideas. Two, yeah, tennis class is really based on a, a very solid foundation. And I think that this must be very irritating for why the live studios, the publisher of tennis class, to one. see this copycat, which is tennis go. This sounds made by the racket hitting in the air is really irritating. Five, one. Can't believe that that the publisher of Tennis Go decided to uh, introduce that sound. I mean, it's useless. Plus. Uh, Unless you are playing tennis on a court which is right in the eye of a twister. Well, I don't see how you can make this sound with your racket while hitting a sh stroke. This is ridiculous. Okay. Big forehand, good mobility, good stamina. Let's see how we can handle that. Okay, of course I'm going to hit. In priority on his backhand. So he's using this Sakura grip, which is a good string. In tennis go, this is the equivalent of the Siberian wire. Of course, I serve mainly on his backhand, which is slightly uh, weaker than his big forehand. You have just seen his big shot there. Very nice forehand start. Yeah, and those uh, words that the players 
the characters say when they hit a stroke is it's a bit like the sound of a racket hitting in the air and it's, it's ridiculous. I mean be careful, what's that? Easy Will Really? Four, one. I mean how is that useful? It's not even fun. Wow. Oh, really? Nice shot. <laughs> they, t the, those are random words, I know, but they are not relevant first. They're not funny. And, well, they don't bring anything to the game. Not useful at all. Well, at least they had to try to do something different from Tennis Clash with those words. Cool. Really? Is that something that you would say when you're trying desperately to return with a backhand? Trying to catch with a great difficulty and you say cool? My gosh. This is so irrelevant. Anyway, let's play the 11th match. Alright. A high volley stat, so... Maybe... We're going to see... A volley play... I'm oh, not sure. This opponent just seems uh, to enjoy staying at the baseline too. One, all. My gosh. Two, His one. own trick. And that works Five. here at amateur level in this go. Well, Second serve. he has a good serve, but it's not very accurate. Four, one. And unfortunately for him, when it's accurate, I return it with success. Oh, right. One. Out. Yep. That's looks like the end. And that's it. Well, the animation of uh, celebration and how the characters are celebrating their victories is different in tennis go they didn't dare to copy that out one love all right wow at last we see some players using a uh, volley playing with volley second serve yep Three, it's a big one. lack of mobility here Four. so that's not so easy second serve to rush to the net So he stopped rushing. No chip in charge. Five, love. Yeah. That's definitely not very easy to use. The volleyball at amateur level. 
It's like using the sub volley style at uh, rookie level Match point. in tennis clash. It's a bit the same thing. The sub volley style is uh, best used when you, uh, you play at a higher level, like level 9 in tennis clash. And I guess. Uh, that is the same thing here in Tennis Go. Given that they have copied everything. So in Tennis Clash, sub volley is the best user from level 9. And especially in high tours, where there's no capping. Alright, let's play uh, versus a high sub, big forehand player. Let's see. We can do something. Yep. One, so having four. a big forehand means almost automatically having a pretty weaker backhand. Two, one. So I'm going to serve on his backhand. Obviously. Let's hit that cross-court shot. And follow up. A combo that I uh, use now and then in Tennis Clash and I can reproduce it exactly the same way in Tennis Go without changing anything in the swipe, in the gesture. When I swipe, so yeah, that means that the uh, game mechanics, the game, the mechanics engine, the game engine is the same thing. Sometimes it just looks like the Tennis Clash publisher, meaning White Life Studios, has decided to make a cartoony version of Tennis Clash. Match point. You know, it's funny. Well, that would be uh, really funny if uh, White Life Studios did create a cartoony version of Tennis Clash, but it's not the case. Okay, big forehand, let's go. Let's first serve. Out. Wow, One, love. very hard swipe, but not very accurate. Oh, right. Whoops. Yep. We have no time to come back. Okay. Three, one. My cross court shot was unsettling him. Well, Three, I was hoping that he would try to wrong foot me, but he didn't.
too. So as you can see, the stamina consumption is uh, not working the same way than in tennis clash. So Master Wireless, the uh, publisher of uh, Tennis Go, did copy a lot of things from Tennis Clash, but uh, they didn't copy the stamina consumption. So basically, players don't, don't deplete stamina very fast. And that looks a lot like uh, Tennis Clash when there was no big update, no gameplay recalibration patch. Remember the time when, well, players could play a lot of uh, rallies in Tennis Clash with uh, worrying much about losing stamina. Well, it was all good time, right, in Tennis Clash. Well, here, obviously, Tennis Go knew that uh, the best thing for them to do is uh, to draw the attention of uh, players who are kind of disappointed by the too fast stamina consumption in Tennis Clash. We're trying to attract those uh, players by proposing a version which is almost the same thing than Tennis Clash without the graphics Four, love. and without the stamina consumption problem. Well, Match point. that's not very accurate. Okay, one of the rare bagels in this tournament round, I guess. Oh, right. Well, after having won that uh, match versus uh, the player name and noodles, I had uh, some problems with uh, the uh, recording of the uh, 16th match versus an opponent named Chris, and we can't even watch the replay. It simply doesn't work. I tried to share through Firefox and do other things, but doesn't work there was this message and uh, well it's too bad so basically what happened is that uh, after some matches by the end of this uh, tournament round the um, the phone my Android phone was kind of freezing I don't know what happened after each match, the fall froze. I couldn't use it. And I had to uh, force the restart of the, of the fall. And in the process, well, the video file that I recorded was uh, corrupted when I went into the gallery to watch it again and the phone was saying that uh, the file was not usable it was corrupted too bad in the meanwhile I couldn't have recorded this match and after this one there were several matches that uh, my phone didn't record correctly same thing same problem it was freezing Out. Four, two. 
Well, but the essential thing is that you saw most of matches that I play in this uh, tournament round. So I made a summary try and that was uh, pretty funny to see something Five, three. when I was uh, playing the, the rematches, Out. what they call retrying tennis go. So I had uh, I hadn't faced very high trophies players. As you have seen, Second, sir. during the uh, the first 20 matches of the uh, tournament round, and then very suddenly, Out. when I was playing the uh, first retry, the second retry, oh, the first retry was fine, but the second retry and the third retry, where play versus, uh, players having pretty high trophies, and very high stats yep they had very very good cards like this one so this match was uh, the 18th match of the tournament round and that could be a human player I don't know but uh, what is weird is that uh, during the retry, I met so many players having very high stats. Just looks like uh, they wanted to to make sure that you need to uh, spend bank notes to play all the retry. Yep. Versus those very high stats, that's very tricky to fight back. The shots are overpowered. And my KCI yeah, is powerless, of course. It's a bit like uh, using two eight cards to play at rookie level I guess in tennis clash tournaments yeah very high forehand backhand stats and very good mobility stat too well it was the 18th match yeah so I wanted to have a look at the uh, the burn at the cards used by this opponent. Sand wolf shoes, I don't have them. The flame and bow, we don't have this card neither. Soda, I don't have it. The surf coach, I don't have it. Yep, and Matt, I don't have this character yet. As for me, I have Kesia. Sakura rackets so is the same rackets that we have, same Sakura vibrator, but the same warm shoes is totally different from the Cobra shoes. Cobra and bow and flame and bow, you can see the difference of stats. My energy drink and the soda, yeah, the soda has a really good forehand boost. Surf coach gives a very good backhand boost. Why my flexible coach card is really far from being as good as this surf coach card. Well, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, soda card. 
I need to play more in tour 7 that I haven't even unlocked in tennis go to get this card and a self coach same thing can be found in season 6 that I have unlocked but I don't have I haven't opened uh, many uh, season 6 packs so I haven't got any of this good card okay a high serve big forehand player using the ordinary grip he must be confident of his serve and of his big forehand yeah that a return with a lot of difficulty Oh my gosh. One, love. Look at me. That he missed that shot. Hitting it in the net. Oh my gosh. One, Come on. What an awful mistake. Yeah, this one is a bit better. This time I don't hit it too close to the net. My gosh. He's destroying me with uh, his big forehand. And this serve is so tricky to return. Okay. Oh yeah! Four, two. Can't believe it can hit that ace. Yep, that was a bad serve. Oh come on! Four, three. That could have uh, annoyed him a lot. If that ball was going over the net. Yeah, too late here for me. Unfortunately, now and then, he doesn't serve very correctly. Oh my gosh, hit in the net. Four, five. There was nothing I could do there. Out. Yeah, let's go. Five. All. Okay. He has problem with... Uh, it's weaker backhand. Out. Yeah, definitely. Attacking on his backhand was the thing to do. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is the last retry that I made to uh, try and improve the total score. I was taking the Sakura grip for this one. I don't have many Sakura grip, only one or two after this string. Yeah, nice shot. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't I take more time to adjust my swipe to hit it with a better accuracy? Three, 
Come on. So you have seen me activate the uh, critical shot. Okay, what do you call a strong shot here in tennis go? Oh my gosh, catching the net again. Oh my. A very welcome double fault, Five, three. and he seems to have a problem of connection to the server. Yeah, this one, I wrong footed him. Second serve. Double fault. And another double fault, unbelievable! All oh, right, well. Yep. After some harsh matches for the retries, I got this one who was not very tricky. So I ended my matches of the tournament round at the second rank. I don't think this is going to hold very long. This is the build that I use for all matches. Well, let's switch back to ordinary grip, just in case I forget it, forget to do that for next time I play the uh, different seasons matches. Here's the scorecard. So 140 is the maximum you can get, but my balance is not very good. The balance of the uh, player who is at the first rank is much better and you may have recognized him is uh, Alex a top player in tennis clash too he has uh, 3800 trophies is uh, yeah he has almost the same name in tennis clash let's browse a bit to the to see the different participants in this bracket to see if uh, we can see other tennis clash players here well I hope you enjoy watching me play the tournament round of the Miami tournament in Tennis Go a sports game published by Math to Wireless don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay to subscribe to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Go thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay 365 Bye-bye.